Yo, what's going on? Welcome back. We got a, another design video here today for you. And as you can see, we're going to be designing this little, it's a, it's a laser cut basketball hoop that you can put these little red shot glasses in. So with the basketball board laser cut out and being able to place these inside, I think it's just going to make it a little bit better and a bit more fun, a bit more quirky. And with these as well, you can cut these on tiny little sheets of, I've designed this for three mil ply. So you can design it, have it pop out, and you can put it, it's only three pieces. So you've got the, the backboard, the, the base, and the hoop there as well. So if I move this out of the way, that's all it is. It's just those three bits there. So this is just, obviously, it's a 3D render of it, just to show you what the final product's going to look like. I will be laser cutting this out and assembling it and using it. I might do a different video for that, but this is just aimed around designing it at the moment. So we are going to be designing everything in Inkscape. Again, if you haven't got Inkscape, I'll put a link down in the description. It's a completely free program that you can use to design your vector files that you can then import into your laser cutting software. So I've got an image here of a little red cup I found on Google, and that is set up to the size of the ones I got in front of me. All I've got these ones in front, I'll put pictures on the screen of the ones I got in front of me, of me measuring them. So they are 52 millimeters tall, and at the widest part at the top on the white lip, they are 50 millimeters wide. So that's what this square is here. That is 52 by 50. That's just showing the design there. But what I will do, I am going to just draw this cup in Inkscape very quickly, just so we can use it then as reference when we're designing. Because obviously it tapers in and it's thinner at the bottom than it is at the top. Lots of different ways you can do this. Obviously you could just use the pen tool and just draw it in like so. And we'll just go to the middle there, I think. So you can just do it like that. We can duplicate that and then flip it horizontally, move it over there. And we can just go path and union both of them. One easy way of doing it. Another simple way of doing it is I can just draw squares for each individual part. But by doing this, I can actually get my cup and I can measure the bottom, and I know the width on the whole bottom is, what's that, that's 31 millimeters. So pretty close here, the picture pretty much matches up there. So I'm happy with this, the thickness of these bits are gonna match of what I've actually got as well. And then we can take that up, make him a bit wider. So what I did there, I selected that, press Control D to duplicate, and then I'm just moving it up. Holding shift, then I can rescale it. So it just rescaling it, clicking it and rescaling it that way. Only there's one side. If you hold shift, it'll do both sides equally. And then we'll control D, duplicate that again. And we'll bring that to there. And what I will do as well, I will taper these out. So you can go path, object to path. I'm able then to manipulate the nodes. So with the node selection tool here, you can select to the node. You can see there's four nodes for the square and we can just select them and move them out. And I'll move them up a tiny bit. We'll do the same for this one, path, object to path. And then we'll bring them in. I'll duplicate this one again, bring that down. So this one isn't really tapered as much, so we can select them and we can move them out. Same with the top ones. And then we can move this up here. So this top part here, looking at the cup, it is 45, 45 millimeters. I want this top part up. So let's just get that there. And I will center, I know all these ones are in the center because I've only moved them vertically, but this one then, it will it rescaled out there. So I'm gonna click the layer below it, hold shift and select that top one. And I've got the align and distribute here with first selected. And I'll just set that there. Now that is aligned. I can select all them now and go path union. And that's the shape of the cup. And then for the top, 
I can just draw a quick square, which this needs to be 50 mil. I'll select the cup, hold shift and select the top lip and then align that on the vertical axis as well. Now I will round these edges off. So in the new version of Inkscape, you can round edges off very simply. So I'm just going to convert the object to a path. And then up here, you've got the add corners LPE. Click that, select all the points, and I can just round them all off in one easy go there. I can go path, union with them both selected. So with that top bit selected, holding shift with the rest of the cup, I can go path, union. So the height needs to be 52. So I will change that to 52. And the width needs to be 50. Perfect. So that's our cup. I can remove that. And now we are going to design everything around this. So if you remember with the actual design, so the hoop, the lip on the cup, let's just zoom in there, just sits on the rim itself. So when we are designing the actual hoop, we want to design to the width of this, which is 45 mil, and not the actual lip, which is 50 mil. First, then we will do the, we'll do this top bit here, the backboard. Just going to draw a simple square. Um, let's change the color on that a second. I'm just going to use now the cup as a reference of the size. We can go probably a little bit wider there. So we'll go, we'll round that to 70 mil and we'll go 50 mil on the height. Obviously it's rounded on top. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can just draw a circle and you can union that in there. Or again, we can just go path, object to path. And then we'll use this add corners LPE tool again with just the top two nodes selected. We'll just round them down until they touch in the middle. And there we go. That's most of our backboard. Uh, with the cup in place, what we can do, we can just set the pole distance. So the base is going to be three mil. So we want the pole to come down about three mil. And then we'll say roughly, this hasn't got to be exact, but it just needs to be more than three mil below the cup. Otherwise, the cup is just going to sit on the base. If you want that, you can do that. But you can just check. You can go anything bigger than three mil. That's fine. I'm happy with that. So with these two selected, the backboard and the pole, we can go path union and that's that bit. So next we will do the hoop itself. Very simple to do with our cup. So we know the overall width of it is 50 mil. And then the inside bit, we'll control D, duplicate that. We know that is 45 mil. So we want the inside of the hoop to be 45 mil or you can just go 45 point one just so you know it's not too tight so if you go 45.1 on both of them then we press ctrl d which will duplicate that and with holding ctrl and pressing the close bracket uh maybe 10 times however your inkscape is set up so once you've offset that depends how thick you do actually want the rim to be with this it's a little bit chunky so we know that the lip of the actual cup is still still going to sit on top of the hoop. If you have it too slim and it could just sit over the top, it might snap, it might not. You're going to want the, the, a bit of thickness to the actual rim itself. You can go thicker than that, you can go thinner than that, completely up to you. Have a play around with it. So we know then 45.1, that'll be a nice fit for our cup to fit in. So with that selected, hold and shift and select the, the larger circle. We can go path difference. Let's cut that out. So that is going to be our hoop. So what we need to do now is find a way to actually have that slot into the actual backboard. Very simple to do this. We just grab our rectangle tool and we'll draw a rectangle. And we'll say about there. So a couple of mil from each side of the pole. So we want the height of this to be three mil because we can be cutting this out of three mil ply. So with that selected, I can press control D. So I've got a duplicate there. And we're going to place this roughly about there. And we're going to cut this out of the actual backboard because then the, the rim is going to slot into that. So with that selected, hold shift, press the backboard, path difference. And we have a three mil tall hole, which is going to be the exact width as well of our key on the hoop, which is going to slot in there. Lovely. If you are designing this for thicker wood, just make these bits thicker. So if you're going five mil, make them five mil high. So we know now this little key is going to slot into that opening there. Absolutely amazing because it's the same width and thickness is three mil. 
but obviously we can extend this to go into the hoop. And we'll say about there, and then we're just gonna connect both of these objects. So with that selected and holding shift with the hoop selected, we're gonna go path union. And that's that done. So if you obviously flip that up, it would look like that. So it's got a little key on the back with the opening there, and that'll just slot right into there. And then all we need to do is make the base. Base is very simple. Get yourself a square, use the rectangle tool. We're gonna to turn snap in on, and we're just gonna draw a rectangle inside of this pole, because it needs to be the same width as this pole, because this pole is gonna be slotting into our base. And we only want that three mil, because obviously, again, we're gonna be cutting this out of three mil wood. Bring this down to about here. We can turn snap in off now. And again, however thick you want your base to be, I do recommend having it, you know, fairly big for it to be able to hold the hoop and the cup. And if you are putting any liquid in the cup as well, you're going to want it to hold all of that. So uh, let's round this up. So we'll go 65 by 40. We're going to center this now to our actual backboard. So with the backboard selected, hold shift, select the base. And then with the align and distribute tool, we're going to go first selected and we're going to center that to the vertical. Perfect. I'm going to change the color now of this little cutout so we can see what we're doing. We're going to move that down to about there. You don't want it too close in the center because all the weight's going to be here. So if you put this in the center, it will top low. You want it as far back as you can, but obviously within staying within the base. So with that selected, that little shape that we've drawn, hold and shift and the base selected, path difference. So now we know that is going to slot in there spot on and that also is going to slot in there and then the cup is going to sit in there. So we can delete that now, delete that. Let's move all of this, try and get as compact as possible. Select them all, turn the fill off, pop a stroke on and our stroke, we're only going to have a thin stroke. We're also going to add a little square here. So everything red on the outline is designed to be cut out. Now what we're going to do is add a small rectangle here for the backboard because as you can see it's just going to be that just make it look a little bit better this doesn't need to be there or you can paint it by hand if you want to um so we're going to go about that big so with the backboard selected hold and shift select the square we've drawn and then we're going to center that on the vertical axis and then all we need to do is we're going to change the stroke color to black because this is going to be engraved we're going to change the stroke style to three maybe yeah, three is fine. And that is that. We can go path, stroke to path now as well. So that is actual path. And then lastly, what we'll do, we'll draw a square around it all. We'll turn that down to 0.5 and to red. And let's move everything about. Try and get as compact as possible. You know, if you're going to be cutting loads of these out, you're going to want to save as much material as possible. And there we go. So we send that to the laser. The black part's going to be in gray first. Then it's going to cut these little squares out, then these, and then it's going to cut the whole board out. Then you can take the whole cut out, be able to pop them out, and you can install them and start using it within seconds. All right, guys, that's it. Like I said, this was very simple. Again, do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you are new here, subscribe. So yeah, there we go, guys. I will put this file on my Patreon. I'll put the Patreon link down below in the description. So if you want to get that along with lots of other files I do have on there, um, yeah, you can just sign up to that. So there we go, guys. Nice and simple. I'll make another video now of me cutting this out and using it so you can actually see how it all works as well. And uh, I hope you have fun with it. Ta-da.